All right, in this quick tutorial, we're going to see how to set up an e-commerce shopping cart on your WordPress blog or website all for free. And I say quick because if you just set up a blog or a website and you're in e-commerce, you probably want to start selling and getting your products online quickly. Let's take a look at the shop we'll learn how to make using the recommended plugins and themes. And by the way, these other pages will come along with what we make in this video. So what you'll get is a nice layout like this. We've just set up one product here, but you can create as many products as you like. Your users can interact with the products right through this page, or they can click through. And then you get this nice product page where you can insert a description, and people can go ahead and interact here as well you get this nice image gallery overlay and you get the options to create a sale or coupons and more. Let's click on view cart and from this page users can update their cart or if they're ready to buy proceed to checkout and then all through your website or blog people can create their own accounts which can be useful for future purchases and then once they're all set with their current shopping they can go ahead and check out with payment methods that you've selected as you create your store alright so this is all really beautiful and free of course because we're using wordpress.org and my favorite part about it is it's responsive it's mobile friendly so that users can make purchases from your store on the go through their mobile phones all right, just give me one second if you don't mind. I'm going to delete what we've set up right here, and then we can recreate it together to simulate how it would go on a brand new website. All right, so be right back. All right, I'm back now, and here we are in the dashboard of our freshly created WordPress blog. It is using the 2014 theme right now, so the first thing we actually do have to consider is the theme and the theme is going to create a entire look that will either convince your users to buy or not buy in many cases. I'll tell you right now that three good themes for e-commerce on WordPress are Virtue, Vantage, and Storefront. The Virtue theme, the Vantage theme, and Storefront. And thankfully all of those can be acquired for free through appearance themes. And the theme I prefer at the moment is the Vantage theme, so we're just going to use that one for now. Here we are searching for Vantage in the themes library, and we can install this one. And I just know that Vantage, Virtue, and Storefront are good for the e-commerce because I've used them before, and they have certain um, designs that go well with the e-commerce shopping cart we're going to make. So if you want another theme then I'd recommend just googling best e-commerce WordPress themes or something along those lines. Alright now that we've installed a good theme for e-commerce and WordPress we can go ahead and get our e-commerce plugin. This is called WooCommerce WooCommerce and go ahead and install the one that says WooCommerce Excelling E-Commerce. And activate. All right, we now have our free e-commerce plugin and we're almost ready to start creating products. But first, it's smart to install WooCommerce pages. So we'll do that and we're all set with WooCommerce. If we check out our awesome blog now we can see that we have those pages we saw before along with some demo content that came with the Vantage theme and of course we have our shop. So just for the heck of it and because we have a little more time let's create a product. Go to new in the upper navigation product and the place I like to start when I create a product is actually not the name or the description, but the V2 
featured image. Uh, that's because this is the image that shows up as the thumbnail and knowing how your product looks can really help you write in those other details. So we have no files for an image and we need to upload one from my desktop. And we can browse around and find the um, five donuts, which we saw before. All right, so let's set that as our featured image, which will show up as the thumbnail. And then just create a title in the title line like you normally would for a post or a page. Come on down and select your price. All right. And we can create a sale price. So inserting a sale price will automatically set this item on sale. I'll make a longer tutorial where we explore these other settings, but that should do it for now. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Let's give our product a category. And write a little bit about the donuts right here no big deal and then publish alright we can check out what we created and here we have a product just like we saw at the beginning of the tutorial things are mostly working although you'd need to add more details of course to actually get the sale um, before we end though, let's actually look at how to set up the pricing differently and how to collect money through PayPal because I feel like that might be something on your mind. So back in the dashboard, we can go to our new WooCommerce settings and then go ahead and pick your currency from the drop down menu and we're going to use simple old dollars. All right, let's save. And then let's also go to the um, checkout setting. And then in checkout, we can click on the PayPal tab. You might notice that the settings get pretty deeply nested within your uh, new settings area. So this will take a little bit of time uh, to figure everything out. But again, let me know if you have any questions. You can insert your PayPal email right here. And of course, make sure to get that right. So just go ahead with whatever it is you use to collect payments. And then again, save changes. And after you do that, you'll be all set with a functional shop where you can actually collect real money from real products that you sell via PayPal. All right, so that's all pretty exciting. We now know how to add an e-commerce shopping cart functionality to WordPress. Thanks a lot for watching, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions that were left unanswered. Thanks again.